I need you to get down. Get down. Get down. Okay. I'm going to be the mean guy. Get down. Boom! Really? Piper. Get Thank you so much. Was that hard? Hey, y'all. So, I'm back with another video. I'm going to be doing a review on my new Rev Air. Now, I already used the Rev Air. I actually used it yesterday. And I had already recorded and done my intro and my, I guess you would call it an outro. But that footage turned out to be complete garbage. It sucked, so I had to do it all over again. So, just really, really quick, just want to go over just a few things. Um, normally, the Rev Air by itself is $400, as we all know. It's a very, very expensive tool. I ended up getting mine on sale. So, I ended up getting the... The Rev Air itself <laughs> and the um, mount for $350. So normally that's a $440 value and I got it for $350. They're actually having 14% off right now because Valentine's Day is on the 14th. And then I also got a $10 off coupon. So very, very excited. Um, it got here super duper quick. I ordered it on a Wednesday night and it got here Saturday afternoon. So very, very, very quick. I was actually very surprised. Um, it came with this big bag. It came in this. And I guess that's what I'll be storing it back into because I have nowhere to put this. This thing is huge. Rev Air is huge. It's a huge machine. Anyways, um, so I did record a small portion of me unboxing the Rev Air. And of course, the only thing that uh, of course the only thing that was in there was the the mount itself, or the um sorry the wand holder, uh the wand, a filter, the base, and I got a bunch of ribbon elastics, or I got three ribbon elastics, which I was very 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 excited about because I didn't know that I was going to be getting ribbon elastics, which pretty much is like a uh, it's like a rubber band or a ponytail holder, depending on who you are. I hate when people call. I hate when people call it rubber or ponytail holders. It's so annoying. I call them ribbon elastics. Um, but I didn't know I was going to be getting ribbon elastics, and I did, and I was super duper pumped, super pumped. So, oh yeah, that was it. That was it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, there's like no room. There's like absolutely no room up here for any of this. I promise there's none. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> this is so much longer than I thought. Okay, that's... Okay. Let's talk to her. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes! Rev Air Wear! Rev Air, 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 It's so cute! Oh my goodness! Okay. So I'm good. My hair is detangled, shampooed, deep conditioned, detangled again. I have uh, put in the my leave in conditioner, which I use the Miel Organics. And I'm going to use this heat protectant. I've never used this before. Um, actually just picked it up. Well, I picked it up from Sally's. No. I picked it up from Ulta yesterday. Uh, but it says it's supposed to be really, really good. I only got it because it was sol or silicone free. Uh, we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and section a small part off really quick. My hair isn't completely wet. Um, it is a little damp. I read over the instructions, or I skimmed over the instructions in the book, and it says that your hair needs to be wet because you get better results, but not to the point to where 
you're dripping water into the <clears throat> into the hose. So I do have some product in my, or I do have some water in my hair, but not a whole bunch. Oh, don't tell me this. There we go. Okay, it smells really, really good. Is this too small of a section? I don't know. This section, I'm not sure if it's too big or too small. Uh, oh, we're just gonna give it a shot. Uh, but I am going to start on the warm setting. So I'm gonna flip it down. And for the section, I'm going to start on, I'm gonna start it on five. Cause I know I already have a hard time uh, blowing out my hair anyways, cause of how curly it is. You can't really see the texture right now because I've detangled it twice by at this point. So I know I'm gonna need a lot of tension. Ooh, I'm nervous. And I heard this thing was loud, but I I don't know. We'll see how loud it is. We'll see. wasn't expecting this to work on my hair and I don't know why it doesn't smell okay huh. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun product okay wow so to see my hair just ah okay can I I'm gonna comb it out real quick I'm gonna comb it out and honestly I do think I'm going to uh, put the suction up to I'm just gonna go ahead and put it up to seven like I was watching a whole bunch of videos and I was wondering why people weren't just going straight to seven because it got my hair straight um, but I still have a lot of texture towards the end I don't even know if you can see you probably can't even see that but there's a lot of texture still and I want it straight straight so I'm gonna bump the suction up. I'm gonna go back over this one more time actually on the high heat setting and the suction on seven, just to see if I can get any more suction. Um, like I said, right, as of right now, I do have the suction on five, but I just wanna bump it up real quick just to, just to see. I think it's still the same, but I think only because it was already dried out, which it dried my hair very, very fast. I am, I'm so amazed. Oh no, oh, it got it a little bit straighter, cause now, yeah, it's a little bit straighter. Gosh, buddy, okay. 
Oh, my roots are straight. Oh, you know what? There's some scalp under here. I have not felt like pure scalp in so long. Wow. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna keep going. I need a clip. Uh, one thing that I wanna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my entire head really quick, and I wanna time it and see how long it takes me to do my entire head. I gotta make sure it's not drying out too much. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get my phone and I'm going to time myself doing everything. So, yeah. anymore he's a blown out natural okay look at that my edges need to be you know need a little little something something actually my edges don't look bad because my edges don't need to be done every single day I'm not obsessing over my edges though right now but like this bun oh my gosh and look at this look at this Just hold on. do you see that look do you see this $400 where? $400 here. I'm just saying. Stiff where? Stiff what? Stiff what? For real, stiff what? Oh, oh, no where? Stiff what? Where? No. You know them uh, effortless lazy buns, you know? The ones that have a little bit of sag time. But your hair's still up in here? Yes. It only took me 49 minutes and 29 seconds. So, like I said, I did use the machine the other day, and I just put my hair in two buns just so that I can go to sleep so my hair wouldn't be getting all messed up or whatever. So I'm just gonna take it down again just to see how it looks. Oh my God, it's so soft. Like, it's so soft. Like, oh my God, it's so weird. So, so, so weird. 
sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll leave the hair out. So, my final thoughts on the Rev Air. Honestly, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, the price, a lot of people say that the price is a deal breaker for them. But honestly, like, mm, I mean, I bought it, so I guess the price isn't too big of a deal for me. It is kind of expensive, but all in all, there's a lot of things in life that are expensive. And I feel if all your bills are paid and you have no other priorities financially that you need to take care of, and if you want to spoil yourself, or if you need something to help you do your hair a lot faster, then I would say go ahead and get it. But all in all, I like it and it makes doing my hair super duper quick. Now, my hair feels amazing. I haven't blown out my hair in, I wanna say three years. I haven't done a blowout, like an actual blowout with a blow dryer and a brush in around three years. And I think that was the last time I straightened my hair too. So I haven't done that in around three years, but I do remember the process. So I remember there being a lot of heat involved. I remember sweating a lot. Um, I remember pulling out a whole bunch of hair. And I remember my hair feeling dry. And I also remember never getting the results that I wanted, you know. With this, it was super duper easy, super quick. I didn't, not a drop of sweat came off of me. Like I was chill. Like. Even in some of the clips, you can see where I was eating fruit snacks, which they were Welch's, by the way. I was eating fruit snacks, uh, and then I was just kicked back, you know, in my chair. I was experimenting with different ways of doing the blow drying process, I guess you would say. There was one point in time where I kept the hose on my scalp in one place for a pretty decent amount of time. It was like maybe 10 to 15 seconds. I had it directly on my scalp, and I did feel the heat, and I had to end up moving it around so I couldn't feel it. And there was one point, I'm not sure if you picked up on it in the clips, but I was trying to see if there was any way of getting my ends straighter. So I had this theory. Okay, so I would watch videos and I would watch everybody put the wand up to their scalp and everybody would say that their roots got straighter than their ends and they felt as if the suction just got weaker further down the hose. So I've been seeing people just put their ends in halfway. Well, starting with their ends, drying their ends first, and then going up to the scalp. I wanted to figure out a way that I could create more suction on just my ends. So I was putting my hand, I was putting my hand over, well, I would put the ends of my hair into the wand, and then I would put my hand around it to try to create more suction. So. It's kind of similar to like when you have a water hose outside and you put your finger on the end of the water hose, I don't know, and it kind of like sprays out harder. That's what I was somewhat trying to do, but in reverse, if that makes sense. Um, I don't think it worked, but at least I was trying to think outside of the box, but it didn't work because my ends look completely the same. And I think I only did try that technique on this side and not this side. It makes doing my hair so much easier. Like, I was due for a trim today because I want to start doing a trim every six months. And I think I did a trim six months ago. It's either every six months or every three months. I can't remember what I have set up on my phone. And normally I would braid my hair or I would either do a braid out or do a twist out. And then comb through my hair to get it to be stretched, basically. But when, when I tell you, this was like the best trim I've ever done and it was super duper easy. Now, the next time that I end up using the Rev Air, I am gonna use it in my bathroom. Um, but I felt like it was too, my bathroom is so small and I felt like with me bringing in the Rev Air plus my camera, plus at least one of these lights, there, there was no way, there was absolutely no way. I love it. Now, I am not going to be doing a lot of hair videos. Um, if, if anybody has watched any of my other videos, you know it's been mainly like tech related because I love, 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 love doing tech reviews. But I needed to, I haven't 100% niched, if that's how you say that word. I haven't completely niched down yet, so I don't know what 
type of videos I necessarily want to do. I know that I want to do um, tech. I don't know if I want to do hair because I don't do much to my hair, but I did at least want to record this because, I mean, it's got a plug, so technically it's a tech review. I'm going to say it's a tech review, so we might just stick with tech. I do like hair, but I don't do much with my hair. By the way, this little, how do I hold this together? This thing right here, now you're supposed to be able to sit the wand through these slots. I don't know how I'm going to focus, you can see through there. Through this slot, you're supposed to be able to sit it directly onto the rev air. Now. This might just be me because this is how my life is set up. When I unboxed the Rev Air, of course, you know, the first thing I wanted to do was sit the wand on side of the thing like all the other videos. I want to be like everybody else too. I want to be like Mike, like everybody else, basically. And I put it down, you know, picked it up, put it back down, and it clicked. And I was reading through the manual and everything. And then I tried to take the wand off and the wand was stuck. The wand was completely stuck to the point of where I had to take a butter knife in between here because I don't know if you can see, there's like a little lip right here on the inside. You probably can't see. Anyways, there's a little lip that's on the inside and I don't understand the function of it and I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it got my wand stuck and I pulled and prodded. I thought I was maybe supposed to like push that little lip in. That lip does not move. Um, I don't know, I don't know how I do these things. I don't know how mine got stuck, but I will not be putting my wand back on here. So if you're thinking about buying one or if you're going to get one, or if you even have one and you haven't got yours stuck yet, just make sure you're still careful and don't push your wand too far down on that little hook because it could get stuck. Like I said, I had to use a butter knife to prod it off. It took me like a good five minutes. And I ended up scratching my Rev Air in three different places. Uh, two of the places are behind the little lip, so that's fine. But then the other one is right on the front. There's a bunch of fingerprints, but this right there. So sad about it. So sad about it. But it's whatever. But that's my helpful tip for you. You're welcome. I can be a stretch natural. So that's one thing, you know, if you are interested in being a, or if you are a stretch natural, so someone who doesn't wear their hair in its curly state, so you might always do braid outs or twist outs or things like that to keep your hair stretched. I feel like this would be a very good device for you because I think that's the route I want to go with my hair. I've been growing up my hair since 2012 and dealing with curls is just like sometimes very overwhelming. And leaving your hair in its curly state can lead to a lot of breakage depending on your curl pattern um, and how curly your hair is and how much it shrinks and curls up inside of itself basically and my hair is super duper super duper super duper curly and I wish I would have done like a texture shot to put in here I try to find a photo on my snapchat because I'm always taking videos of my hair I feel like uh, this is gonna make my hair the rest of my hair journey a lot easier but yes that is all. Hopefully this wasn't too boring. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Also, all of the products that I used in my hair and the Rev Air itself, I'll put all that information down in the description bar in case you're interested in any of that. Um, like I said, the sale for the Rev Air, it, sh it should only last till Valentine's Day. And I think today is the 12th. So I know this won't get up in time. Anyways, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about my hair. I like it. It feels so good. Uh, it feels amazing. It feels good. Um, and if there's anything you want to see, let me know. Let me know if hair videos are for me. You know, did I do good on it? Did I do bad? If hair videos aren't for me, you can just be like, nah, this is not your calling. And I'll be like, okay. Touche. Touche. I feel you. I can take a hint. Thank you very much for watching. If you stay to the very end, I appreciate you so, 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 so much. And that's it. I'm going to go play with my hair now. So, bye.